Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Capital Market Live on Channels Television. And the equities market have predominantly taken a bearish stance the past few weeks. Closing positive last week, but the index has continued to drop below the 49,000 level. Investors out there are probably wondering if they should pull out their investments at this moment. But the trick is to understand how to trade in any market cycle and profit from it. So it's not all gloom for investors. Mr. Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting, joins me in the studio to share a free or two. Uh, good to catch up with you, Ambrose. Is always good to catch up with again. you. Uh, Ambrose, um, we, we had you heard the first guest. We talked about some earnings. We talked about some stocks. But all eyes now on the earnings season, the Q2 financial report. What are your expectations for that? Yeah, I believe that the output for Q3 number or for Q2, for those that have much as year end, will be a missed you know, performance. Those companies that have done um, no, pretty well in the, in the first quarter, second quarter, we're likely to maintain that uh, trend. But because of uh, this increasing uh, you know, economic headwinds internationally and uh, locally, there are going to be some sectors that will be affected with this uh, movement, especially with the rate you know, increase in uh, you know, interest rate. All right, that is one. Another one is this FS market has become also a great challenge for, for most of the companies that really import uh, raw materials for their production. That means we're going to see a missed number, and that number will impact our price because. You don't give what you don't have. If I see a company you know, bringing a positive number, I'd like you to pay improved dividend at the end of the financial year. Knowing that uh, the Q3 number is very, very important for any design investor locally and internationally, you know exactly what will come out from this company at the end of their financial year for this current year. But I believe that investors in the market should not panic because a trader and investor, they are two different you know, people in the market. For investors, as you are seeing a value on your table because stocks are really no low. Looking at the, the market P ratio and individual stock P ratio, tells you that yes, the opportunity of capital appreciation. Mm -hmm. But for the earnings, we want to see you no know, individual company what is their earning per share. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how good your top line is, if your bottom line is not strong, you won't pay much you know, to your you know, to your investor. Speaking of earnings, uh, with the current uh, uh, market and uh, individual price to ratio earnings, what should investors be doing now? Yeah, for those that are looking for capital appreciation, you know, look at the P ratio to tell you, okay, you have a shorter period to recruit your investment. That is the same thing of P ratio. Mm -hmm. No, is it low or high? But for those that are looking at dividend payout, you know, what to pay, you look at the earnings because the company have done well, as I said earlier, they will pay good dividend. But if you're looking at, oh, I need appreciation on this capital, uh, on this investment, what is the current price the stock is selling? What is the in between uh, the, 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 the low and high? Where is the company? Because I said in one of the programs that any day a market close, the close price is very important for the day and for the week and for the month. That means for you at any time, market are close on Friday. Sit down and look at what is the close for that day. What is the company high and low for the year? I'm not having high and low. The to do is high and low. To know where the company is. If the company is at a discount, you will know yourself that. It's you know, it's apart from what, from the real value of the company. Like what we saw in, uh, in the life of uh, GTB recently, you know, it was kind of uh, a divergence between the real value of GTB and the market value. Mm -hmm. And now you can see that also, Converting back again after we saw kind of, was after we saw kind of uh, no divergent. So that that's how to invest as an, for investors and also for traders. But for those who want to invest for dividend, we wait to see the number before you start invest. That's why we are waiting for third quarter. But for trader like me, I don't need to wait for numbers to invest. I would have position ahead of the numbers. You just have to trade in this kind of uh, very uh, you know in an environment. Just because market is bad, let me just sit and be complaining. No, there's still opportunity in the market so that. You take advantage of that uh, you know, sentiment in the market, either positive or negative, because there must be activities on your chart. That is why you must combine with what your fundamental you know, take analysis to make what informed business decision. So, so you're talking about informed decisions, and you're the expert here. What's the place of knowledge or intelligent investing in the market? Now, how do people access this? How do they take advantage of it to make um, strategic decisions to be able to profit from this bearish cycle from from if it's a bull or bear market so they're not wondering oh I need to pull out and make losses at uh, in, in in this especially in these times you know actually when market is bullish you no know, anybody in the street can tell you go and buy stock you make money mm -hmm. it is not that market is down that you know those that use word knowledge or you no know, that has also tools knowledge comes by you knowing what to do also have to, to guide you many you know players in Nigeria market don't have the tools when I mean tools for you to really play effectively as a trader, you must know how to combine your, your technical and fundamental 
for most of them, they rely more on what on fundamental. And fundamental is that a stock is good. You know the right price to buy that stock or to sell. You need what your technical angle. That's why knowledge is key. You need to up your game. If you really want to have financial freedom, you must start with what the knowledge aspect of it. Because anything we are doing in life, we are doing trial and error, we will make you no know, progress or successful. You no, know, you need you need to train yourself. That means any trader or investor in the market to up their game, not just calling your broker. Your broker, yes, but it's your heart and money. So that you must have you know, an idea or insight to where you are putting your money so that you make informed. But that is why in any market cycle, like we said, we know there is crisis, like people are complaining that, oh, everywhere, if you look to what we're having a war in, um, in Ukraine and Russia, if you come back, you know, the FS market is sitting up. Our economy. If you look at interest rate globally, who the World Bank and the uh, IMF are complaining that if there's not taking, you might need the global economy to a recession. Back home here, because of also our high interest, uh, interest rate, we're also afraid that the positive GDP we have seen, uh, GDP we have seen uh, First, second, if there's not taking, we must start seeing a contraction. Because if you look at the, the monthly, no, we'll call it protest manager, apart from the work for September was a bit up, marginal. But if you look at it, that means in within the, this uh, last quarter, we saw kind of uh, a mistrend in one day. The protest manager, I tell you that it's up and down. That's the thing that, that the, you know, the high cost of funds is already hitting the economy. I mean, if there's not taking, my see go back to the recession. But I pray that we not go back to that recession. Because if it happen in this uh, admission for almost three times in and out of recession, it's not a good uh, for the economy. I believe that now the investors know where to go because the intervention that the CBN did earlier, you know, after the or during the COVID 19, there are some sectors that are still and enjoying that, uh, you know, those uh, interventions because it's still on single digit uh, what interest. That means we expect this month those sector to release a better number than those that also are approaching the banks for almost uh, 30 percent uh, interest rate. But if you are still having one digit interest, which is true that your results should be better. For me, this is what you look at where should I go, and also naturally. Policies also tell you where you should go because policy will also impact performance. We see what is happening in the banking sector today. Despite cost of fund, at the end of the day, we see a net of positive level for banking sector because actually they will negotiate their, their loans with, their, you know, with their, uh, their creditors on what to do. Now that, yes, we increase the, the, the rate, automatically the more funds for the banks to make money. Okay. And also at the same time, because of the increasing rate, that's the TP already is, is, is high. Banks can equally put money there and make money. That means for banking sector, I expect to see a better future number from that sector. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about numbers now. We've seen a mixed uh, uh, report or results from the early filers, uh, such as uh, United Capital <laughs> and Gary Gu, as we mentioned. Um, but what, what do you think Invexa's reactions will be, especially ahead of um, ne um, inflation numbers dropping next week? Actually, for the inflation number, you no, know, it's really like a past. It always just tell you what has happened. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the future. For me, the president will tell us it will inform whether uh, MP, uh, the MPC will adjust rates, you know, coming uh, the, the last MPC for the year, that come in November. But for the results I've hit the market so far, I would say this misnumber is giving the investor an insight to what we should expect going to the future. But that, you know, the, the consumer price index will shake the market when it comes. But if there's a slight decline from, from the you know, expectation of the figure, that would be good. But if there's also a marginal you know, increase, you know, it will balance. That means in the next NPC meeting, we expect that they will not be either they leave the rate or change flat to see what they have. But if there is a kind of a, a kind of a huge, you no know, increase in the in the report, in the, the inflation data, they might likely also increase rate again. Because I tell you, the way this recent uh, CBN governor is like different from the CBN governor before. You know, about like two years, our rate will remain unchanged for two years. Those in the last six months, we have seen almost three times the change in our rate. For me, I believe that if we see another hike, you no know, big hike in the in the or uh, increase in what in the uh, inflation because my seed or another you know increase in rate. But for the figures that hit the market, the earnings that came to the market, I would say it's a good start seeing what uh, you no know, your cap just released to the market. Nitro cap was yes, quite impressive. You know, that is a good it? number. And uh, this is what I'm saying that will attract back the institutional investor. Generally now that we are seeing that the government is going to make move to do what call you no know, debt to reconstruction, that also was to threaten them that they need to also diversify their portfolio and seeing impressive earnings like this uh, no, that monitor from your cap that was to enter the cop. Dividend it already is high. And even, even though they paid out 150 what they paid last year at the current price, your dividend is almost 18 to 19 percent for me. It's a good one. That means the number I show that where the company is going. If you want to see that your interest investor in that company that you show that that company is well run. Look at the profit margin for this company. Look at you no know, almost 53 percent profit margin. It tells you that this company you have a lot of confidence, you know the kind of cost they are using. For me, no, this is what you better look at because if a company has good no cost efficient management, they can pay out what they have because they know how to. For me, investors look at that way. For those that are income investors, for we that also trader, 
You can still make some money. Buying at 11 naira, looking at to go at around 15 or 16. It's a good for me. That's why I say whether the market is on a, you know, a corrective wave or for me, the market is not bearish. I think that our market is not bearish for now. Because until we lose up like 20%, 20% we, not say before we, we know that we are in a bearish yeah, market, a but we are still uh, in a bearish run right now. We are we corrected? <laughs> yeah. Are we corrected? Yeah, yeah, it's we, are we going back to the 39,000 <laughs> level? It's a corrective way. <laughs> we can only rebound any moment from now. Mm -hmm. And with this anything we are seeing, we might see support in the next uh, six weeks. Market will remain in this I mean, up and down. And that is why anything is a very good. Uh, Period for you to make money because that period you see a lot of uh, activity in terms of uh, sentiment, in terms of psychology changing, in terms of fund coming to the market. That is why a good trader to take advantage of this any season to recover what he has lost before now. <laughs> and also Thank create you more so words. much. Thank you so much, Ambrose Omodi. I hope the market doesn't lose momentum as the earnings season kicks off. Ambrose Omodi, um, um, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting. Thank you so much for sharing your insights on the program with us. Today. Thanks for having me. And that's it on Capital Market. Do join us same time next week. And we'll Yvonne, thanks for watching.